time for another showreel review where I review your work and this one I recorded a little while ago so my hair's a different length, don't worry about it. Alright, let's take a look at Leo Chinda, showreel 2019. incredible reel awesome work that's 58 seconds of awesome animation i reckon there's two or three shots you should take out just because they're not quite as strong as the other stuff in here but that was awesome you left a comment saying is this reel good enough to show internationally to get work remotely yes yes it's good enough this is excellent hopefully you get a lot of work with this this is killer let's go through and take a look i really like how this starts you've got a kind of slow pace but it keeps it interesting with the animation and then the music kicks in and then we get a lot more fast paced. This is all awesome. We could maybe get rid of that rugby shot. I don't know, to me, it's just not as strong. It doesn't stand out compared to all the other stuff, which is awesome. This just seems a little bit more generic. I feel as though I could get this kind of animation from most anyone I'd hire, but the other stuff just looks on another level. This is so good. This is great. That Kiwi shot where they're running through here. That's awesome. This is all great. This shot though, you can get rid of this one. This one's far too generic. It doesn't sell your skills anywhere near as the other stuff does. And just brings the, the standard slightly down from all your nine and eights out of 10 to this maybe, you know, this is a six and a half. And you don't need to take it out entirely. There's a nice little transition where it bends here. So you can maybe just start it bending and then getting this warp here. Cause that's not too bad. I like these characters. This is all awesome. This is good. I reckon you can cut before we transition and look out the window because we get some really cool transitions here. And then this one just seems a little boring and flat and nowhere near as interesting. So I can cut it just before we turn the camera. This is really nice here. Maybe this shot is a little weaker than average. That shot is phenomenal. Maybe put this at the very start. This is so good. The animation is subtle. We get a bit of a blink and a parallax, but man, the depth of field, the design, that's breathtaking. Awesome. And this is really good as well. Edited so well to the music. This is the best one I've watched today. Awesome work, Leo. If you'd like me to review your showreel on this channel, I've got a Google form in the description down below where you can submit yours. And if you wanna see more content like this on the channel, please let me know in the comments and like this video. That really does help this channel a lot. Let's get stuck in. All right, now we've got this animation reel from Jeff Kane. And this one is only 24 seconds long. That's got me very excited. Let's take a look. This is a real, real. Made all this stuff animated too. If you've got ideas and a budget, I'd sure like to work with you. Jeff, that is great. Okay, so <laughs> this is less of a traditional reel and more of, I've made a little animation for you to hire me, which I think is fine, it's great. This definitely makes me like you as a person more than it makes me understand your animation skills. It makes me wanna hire you so you can hang out in the studio, but maybe a client might request after seeing this, well, send me your actual reel. And I don't know, it's hard to review this one. It does make me want to just go and check out your other work which is what a good showreel should do. It should just show you the very best and get your appetite wet. So you want to jump into someone's portfolio and check out some of the more substantial things they've made. But this is fun. It shows a lot of personality. It shows a lot of gusto. I mean, look at this. Look at this. 
This pineapple design is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I love it. And the fact that it's it's you singing is great. That makes it makes it more fun. These shots are great. <laughs> but a few of these are a bit dodgier. And you know, I love a real lo-fi aesthetic. You know, if you watch my tutorials, I have terrible stock footage over everything. If you if you see my other videos, I tend to use a fair bit of useless bad green screen stock footage but I'm not sure if that's something you'd want to include in a reel when you're trying to get work. And by that I just mean, you know, some of these transitions look a little wonky. To me, I think they're purposefully wonky, that to the, to the untrained eye, they might think, these are just wonky. One thing to definitely change is this, gor this gorilla transition here. It's great and bizarre, but once it's so pixelated when it gets this close to the camera, I don't know what you can do about that. Maybe you can maybe cut before it gets too pixelated. Or, I mean, this is a vector illustration. Surely you'll be able to rasterize this or save this out as a 12,000 pixel high image. Jeff Kane, I like this. I like you. Awesome work. All right, now we've got Ronald Cortez and he's got a lovely breakdown as well. 29 seconds, that's a real length I like. Let's take a look. Okay, not bad. Let's go through. There's a few things I want to mention here. So at the start, it's kind of good here. You've got some really very subtle animation on this intro. Like, it's barely noticeable. We've got some scaling up, it looks of your name here, and some animation in the coffee cup, but really subtle. Maybe increase that a bit. This is definitely your strongest piece, so awesome work putting these two at the front. Looks like you've done a lot of work for summits and trade show and conference kind of things, which is great. Obviously, you found a niche. This is nice. Okay, now here. I don't know if I'm being silly here, but just having a picture of Trump in, in the showreel just leaves a slightly <laughs> sour taste in my mouth. Now, I know there's nothing political about having a photo of a president, but him and Xi Jinping here, it clearly was an important summit. I think that's why you've included it. So maybe in your niche, people are gonna see that and go, oh, he did the, the Xi Trump summit. That's a really big deal. But for me, even though I know including the photo isn't an affiliation or an endorsement in any way, but when I see it, I just think, oh. it's kind of like if I went to a fancy restaurant and I saw some dog shit outside, it's not, it's not the restaurant's fault, but I might enjoy my meal slightly less. I don't know, maybe I'm being insane. Okay, here we cut right before we even finish this word here. So what I want to do is I want to see this animation resolve, but we don't get that sort of satisfaction. I'd maybe remove that. No, I'd maybe cut here and then cut straight to leave this shot out also as well that shot isn't particularly interesting either it's just a pretty grainy photo moving out of the way and then having some text and because this reel is only 29 seconds it makes it a bit tricky to review because normally i just want to say this is the stuff you should take out but there's not much i want to take out here take out the trump take out that one shot otherwise you've done an awesome job great work ronald all right we've got this reel from jennifer gigantino could be uh gigantino sorry sorry jennifer Let's take a look.
like a lot about this. I think you left a comment as well asking if this is too esoteric for a show reel. Uh, let's go through and answer that. I kind of really like that it's a bit weird and wacky. I think you should lean into those differences in your work. Maybe if you were sending it to a specific corporate client that you really wanted a corporate job, you'd maybe want to show some more examples of that type of work, but it looks to me like this is the type of work that you want to be doing and enjoy the most. So I think that's fine. The music choice is, I think, suitably weird and strange. I kind of like you know, within the first few seconds, especially when we hold on this for a long time, we know like, oh, this is going to be some, some weird animation. And I'm okay with that. I think we can definitely tighten up a few of those shots, but otherwise, these is fine. I really like these ones. These montage ones, I think is your strongest work. And here as well, a couple of shots like this are maybe a bit too static. How long is this reel? One minute. Yeah, I think we can lose a couple of the shots like this. Definitely cut this one shorter. We don't need to see him swing so many times. Get rid of that shot. What's this? The end of some Star Wars text and the rocket flying away. Yeah, we can get rid of that. That isn't, there's nothing, nothing interesting happening there. Okay, we're setting up for the rocket crash. They go in a sequence. Okay, I still lose that first one. You can maybe cut this section a little bit shorter. Then we're going to our live action section. These are fine. I reckon you could maybe cut back on some of <laughs> some of these. I kind of like just showing the dead, the dead body afterwards though. That, I don't know, that's fine. <laughs> just for a few frames, I find that amusing. All right, good work, Jennifer. I think if you're struggling to find work in this sort of more esoteric style, you could maybe create a separate, more corporate reel that you want to send out to corporate clients. It's okay to have two separate reels that you send out to different people, but you know, that's more work. I'm not saying you should do that. I think if you love doing this type of stuff, do this stuff, keep doing it. A show reel like this is going to attract more of those clients. Maybe just tighten it up here and there. If you'd like to learn animation and motion design techniques, I've got a playlist of some of the best tutorials on this channel for you to take a look at. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.